Drainage Patterns A drainage system is the pattern formed by the streams, rivers, and lakes in a particular drainage basin. They are governed by the topography of the land, whether a particular region is dominated by hard or soft rocks, and the gradient of the land. Types of Drainage Pattern Dendritic Drainage System Dendritic drainage systems are the most common form of drainage system. In a dendritic system, there are many contributing streams, analogous to the twigs of a tree, which are then joined together into the tributaries of the main river, the branches and the trunk of the tree, respectively. They develop where the river channel follows the slope of the terrain. Dendritic systems form in V-shaped valleys, as a result, the rock types must be impervious and non-porous. Parallel Drainage System A parallel drainage system is a pattern of rivers caused by steep slopes with some relief. Because of the steep slopes, the streams are swift and straight, with very few tributaries, and all flow in the same direction. This system forms on uniformly sloping surfaces, for example, rivers flowing southeast from the Abadeir Mountains in Kenya. Trellis Drainage System The geometry of a trellis drainage system is similar to that of a common garden trellis used to grow vines. As the river flows along a strike valley, Smaller tributaries feed into it from the steep slopes on the sides of mountains. These tributaries enter the main river at approximately 90 degree angles, causing a trellis-like appearance of the drainage system. Trellis drainage is characteristic of folded mountains, such as the Appalachian Mountains in North America. Rectangular Drainage System Rectangular drainage develops on rocks that are of approximately uniform resistance to erosion, but which have two directions of jointing at approximately right angles. The joints are usually less resistant to erosion than the bulk rocks so erosion tends to preferentially open the joints and streams eventually develop along the joints. The result is a stream system in which streams consist mainly of straight line segments with right angle bends, and tributaries join larger streams at right angles. Radial Drainage System In a radial drainage system the streams radiate outwards from a central high point. Volcanoes usually display excellent radial drainage. Other geological features on which radial drainage commonly develops are domes and localites. On these features the drainage may exhibit a combination of radial and annular patterns. Deranged Drainage System A deranged drainage system is a drainage system in drainage basins where there is no coherent pattern to the rivers and lakes. It happens in areas where there has been much geological disruption. The classic example is the Canadian Shield. During the last ice age, the topsoil was scraped off, leaving mostly bare rock. The melting of the glaciers left land with many irregularities of elevation, and a great deal of water to collect in the low points explaining the large number of lakes which are found in Canada. The watersheds are young and are still sorting themselves out. Eventually the system will stabilize. Annular Drainage Pattern In an annular drainage pattern streams follow a roughly circular or concentric path along a belt of weak rock, resembling in plan a ring-like pattern. It is best displayed by streams draining a maturely dissected structural dome or basin, where erosion has exposed trimming sedimentary strata of greatly varying degrees of hardness, as in the Red Valley, which nearly encircles the domal structure of the Black Hills of South Dakota. Bub Pattern 
a pattern of drainage in which the confluence of a tributary with the main river is characterized by a discordant junction, as if the tributary intends to flow upstream and not downstream. This pattern is the result of capture of the main river which completely reverses its direction of flow, while the tributaries continue to point in the direction of former flow. The Aran River, Nepal, a tributary of the Kozi, is an interesting example of barbed drainage pattern. The antecedent or inconsequent drainage. The rivers that existed before the upheaval of the Himalayas and cut their courses southward by making gorges in the mountains are known as the antecedent rivers. The Indus, Satluj, Ganga, Sau, Kali, Aran, a tributary of Kosi, Tista and Brahmaputra are some of the important antecedent rivers, originating from beyond the greater Himalayas. Consequent rivers. The rivers which follow the general direction of slope are known as the consequent rivers. Most of the rivers of peninsular India are consequent rivers. For example, rivers like Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri, descending from the western gates and flowing into the Bay of Bengal, are some of the consequent rivers of peninsular India. Subsequent rivers. A tributary stream that is eroded along an underlying belt of non-resistant rock after the main drainage pattern, consequent river, has been established is known as a subsequent river. Due to the northward slope of the peninsula towards the Great Plains, the rivers originating from the Vindayan and the Satpura ranges flow northward into the Ganga system. The Chambel Signed, Ken, Bitwa, Tans and Sun meet the Yamuna and the Ganga at right angles. They are the subsequent drainage of the Ganga drainage system.